What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create these cool looking exploded uh, 3D diagram views that show kinda what would your building look like if it just exploded and it's a cool way to kinda displace parts of the of the project to show kinda the inner workings or something like that so it allows you to show more through one view th th than you would if it was just a regular 3D view but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and this is just the house that I'm going to be using for this project and uh, for doing these 3d views what I suggest you do is you duplicate your existing 3d view and here I'm just going to go to this 3d view right click and just go let's see duplicate and let's just duplicate this view and let's just rename it into something like 3d exploded okay we're not allowed to keep these characters so let's just let's just call it exploded and now what you do is you select the element you would like to displace and you go here to the modify tab and you find here this displace elements option and you select it and you get this uh, this here uh, kinda gizmo that allows you to move the that part through air or through your project so you just select an arrow and you can just kinda extend it like this or you can move it around using this red arrow or this green arrow just different axis or you can go here and kinda move it in two dimensions and same thing here this blue moves it kinda around and you get the point how it works so you select this blue and as you can see it goes around and if you're not happy with how it turned out you can always go to uh, reset and you bring it back and uh, when you're working like this you I usually like to set the view first so let's go and set a new view so let's go here to some uh, floor plan and let's set a new camera like this that looks at our building and here I've got some uh, CAD uh, drawings so I'm just going to go into VG and turn this these off so I can see my building better and let's just use this wheel to kind of angle this up a bit and make it maybe a bit wider and now let's create our diagram exploded view so it's kind of hard to select these surfaces from here so what you can do always do is you can go to your regular 3d view you can hold the control and let's say you want to select these three roofs and then you can go to your new uh, 3d view and go to displace elements and you will keep the selection and you can just kind of move those elements away and once you have done that uh, you would like to show or I would like to show where this actually stood on the model so you can select it and go here and check path and now you can kind of add these path elements on your uh, model just to kind of illustrate where that part was uh, just don't overdo it with these it's easy to kind of put too many uh, so just be careful as far as these pads go it's usually enough to put uh, two or three of them next thing let's try to do these windows so we can select maybe these four windows and we can move them out horizontally so we can go here so go displace elements select this oops wrong arrow let's go back okay is it the red one okay it's the red one so I can extend them like this maybe to emphasize these four windows I don't know and then I like to add like this just a few of these kinda like that just to show where it stands so that's how you can do these views and of course you can add shadows or you can even render these views I like to add some ambient shadows like this and it's a great way to create these uh, diagram views uh, using Revit so this just displays elements options it's over here and make sure that you're using a 3d view it doesn't work in 2d views so if I go to some floor plan and select one of these and uh, as you can see it's grayed out you can't use it so you need to go to one of these uh, let's see where's our view 
yeah you need to go to one of these 3d views either a perspective view or a or orthographic regular 3d view and there you can use this uh, diagram presentation of your model okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day